On a question, the member for Lowen. Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Medical Research. Will Victorian children miss out on vital brain cancer treatment because the Andrews Labor government has failed to secure federal government funding for its promised $400 million proton beam therapy facility in Parkville? Minister for Medical Research is the Minister for Health. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. And once again, I welcome the question as it relates to medical research here in the state of Victoria. I had the great uh, opportunity to uh, present to the American Chamber of uh, Commerce yesterday ah. to talk about our investments in research. Of course, Victoria, Melbourne, Victoria, under our Andrews Labor government, is one of the top three leading states when it comes to the delivery of medical research. Uh, we have a range of, uh, uh, we have many significant research institutes. We have some of the best universities in the world. We have industry. The Premier and I were recently uh, at the uh, at the sod turn for the establishment of the Aikenhead Centre for uh, Medical. Minister will resume her seat. Member for Lowen on a point of order. Thank you, Speaker. On relevance, a question specific to the proton beam therapy facility in Parkville. I ask you to bring the Minister back to the question. Minister, I ask you to come back to the question. No, no, no. no, no. Minister. Thank you very much. Once again, um, I, I thank you, I thank, I thank you, Speaker. I thank you, Speaker. The member has asked me a question in relation to medical research, but I might also say it's our government. Thank you. It is our government. Uh, that took to the people of Victoria commitment to deliver eight additional uh, PET scanners here in yeah, Victoria, right. and we will deliver because, in fact, the, the uh, substance of the member's question goes to medical technology, and indeed uh, no government has invested more in medical technology. Yeah. And be that in our precinct in Parkville, of course, Clayton and the southeast of, uh, of Minister Melbourne is will also resume her seat. Member for Lowen on a point of order. Thank you, Speaker. Again, on relevance, this question is specific to the $400 million proton beam therapy facility in Parkville. Now, we've heard over the table that they don't recall what that project's all about. Can you please ask the Minister to take the question on notice if she's that unaware of what this very important facility <laughs> would deliver? Member for Lowen will resume her seat. Member for Lowen will resume her seat. Order. Order. The Minister was being relevant to the question particularly based on the point of order, and I ask her to come back to answering the question. Again, um, thank you very much, Speaker, for, the, um, uh, for your uh, guidance there. Uh, so again, our government has a range of investments in uh, medical technology, um, and indeed, uh, and indeed, we are constantly talking to our healthcare services and to the research institutes about the technologies that they need. And indeed, the me member may not know this, but of course, um, but of course, the range of licenses Order. that are Order. required when making investments into significant Leader of the opposition, such as the proton beam. Thank you. And a supplementary question, the member for Lyon. Uh, thank you very much, Speaker. Why did the Andrews government fail Victorian children by not submitting a business case on time and therefore losing federal funding to South Australia? Ooh. Order. Order. Minister. Um, again, uh, I thank the uh, member for her supplementary question. And I um, make the point that the go uh, our government will always uh, fight for Victor Victoria's fair share of funding. And indeed, we are a place that uh, we're very proud of the funding that we attract because everyone knows that Melbourne, Victoria is the home of uh, world-leading medical research and technology. Yeah. 